Hello Pisces, welcome to your Venus Retrograde Soulmate Reading, Relationship Reading. This reading is for the time period of now through November 15th while Venus is in retrograde. I am reading for your Sun, Moon, and Rising sign, so definitely watch those as well. Um, but I'll be reading for Pisces Suns, Pisces Moons, and Pisces Risings, and their soulmate during this reading. So let's see what's going on with you and your soulmate, Pisces. Spirit, please show me the love relationship for Pisces and their soulmate. While Venus is in retrograde from now through November the 15th. Oh, and I'm going to be doing a, a forecast with this reading. The, uh, this forecast will be available with the whole reading over on Patreon. Always add free over there. It's only a dollar to pledge, so if you're interested in getting the, the four months out, uh, we'll be looking at November through February. Definitely uh, consider joining me over on Patreon. Link is below in the description. So, show me Pisces and their soulmate. What is going on for Pisces, suns, moons, risings, and their soulmate spirit? Please show me the love relationship for Pisces, suns, moons, and risings, and their soulmate. From now through November the 15th, while Venus is in retrograde, and while Venus is retrograde in Scorpio, what does Pisces need to know? Please show me the love relationship between Pisces and their soulmate. move the candles off the table or off my tarot mat here so we have a little bit more room to work with and we're going to look at your conscious level what are you thinking about your soulmate um, and what are you thinking about your relationship with them how do you perceive that and your soulmate's conscious level what are they thinking about you and your relationship together what are your emotions how are you feeling about your soulmate in their relationship, in your relationship with them, and how are they feeling about you and your relationship with them? How are you behaving, your behavior, and how are they behaving in the relationship? This is also the actions taken in the relationship. What are they doing? What are you doing? And the relationship situation, which is the energy combined, creating a third entity, which is the relationship situation. Then we're going to look four months out here, one, two, three, four, November, December, January, and February into the future to see where your relationship with your soulmate is going. On the bottom of the deck, we have the underlying theme of challenge of your relationship with your soulmate, which is the two of cups in reverse. So this indicates that you are soulmates, but you may not be agreeing right now, seeing eye to eye. There could even be a separation happening. Now, that doesn't have to be the case. Um, you could just be apart because of distance or time, whatever. But I'm seeing difficulties with the chemistry relating on a day-to-day -day level. I still feel like this is a very good card. It's an indicator that you, you do have a soulmate. You just aren't getting along with them right now. Or there could be a, a separation or a breakup happening. And um, actually, this is your card, Pisces. The Two of Cups here. So we're definitely... Or we're on the right uh, track here. Let's take a look at your conscious level. Six of Swords, Emotions, Temperance, lots of healing energy for you, Behavior, King of Cups in Reverse. Okay, your soulmate Pisces has the Four of Pentacles. In terms of their thoughts, what they think about you and your relationship with them. Their emotions are the Page of Cups. And their behavior is the Five of Wands in reverse. The relationship situation is the King of Swords. 
Okay, so what I'm getting is that there's definitely a coldness and a distance between you two. Um, I don't normally talk about the card in the center, but with the King of Swords here, he's jumping out at me. And I do feel like there probably, if there is communication, it's probably just very based in facts and logic and um, kind of, I'm getting a little bit, it's a little bit of a chilly atmosphere there between you two. Um, uh, it could be that you guys are taking some space right now. Um, there, I'm not getting necessarily indication that you two are talking or that you are really, that there's really good chemistry there. It feels like there's definitely some distance between you two and you are both having to kind of approach the relationship from a very logical standpoint. That means leaving your emotions out of it, which is a shame because I do, you know, see quite a lot of cards here speaking to potential for wanting more than that and there being more than that in general. So Pisces, in your conscious level, you have a six of swords. So you may have stopped thinking about your soulmate for the time being because this can indicate canceling any thoughts regarding them. Um, I also see here voyages, journeys, needing to, to heal, needing to move on, psychological healing taking place. Um, there may be some movement here. You may be thinking about a move or moving away from them. Um, I see here... In two of these cards, two out of three of these cards here, that you have your back to your soulmate. So I feel like it's not that they're not on your mind. It's just that you are really focused on your healing right now. And there's a lot of things that you've had to overcome, trauma and so forth. So I see that you are, you know, slowly uh, but surely making progress when it comes to your mind, your mindset, um, being able to move on. Now you may also be thinking that your soulmate has moved away from you or that they are um, needing some time to heal as well. Um, in terms of your emotions, you have temperance. So again, another card about healing. Um, I feel like you are trying to find the right chemistry with this person. You're trying to find the right balance. Um, they may be a Sagittarius. Um, they may also... Uh, be yeah, a fire sign like Sagittarius or Leo. I'm definitely getting here that things are very calm for you. Um, I'm not seeing you going to any extremes. You're kind of right in the middle. Uh, you found peace. You found healing here. Um, I definitely feel like something happened in the past here. And right now you're just getting back to center. You're very centered. You're very calm. Um... I think that you're trying to find, you know, some kind of way, some kind of chemistry with them. You're trying to kind of find where do you fit in this whole picture. In terms of your behavior, you have the King of Cups in reverse. So this is your card, Pisces. And I'm seeing that, um, again, you've turned away from your soulmate here. Um, you're pouring the cup out. Um, so I'm seeing that you um, maybe you don't want to talk to them right now. Maybe you are you have a lot of intense negative energy around you. You may also be emotionally unavailable um, when it comes to um, speaking to them. It could also be that in some ways maybe you've been found untrustworthy by your soulmate or or you. Um, you don't trust them. So I do feel here, I'm seeing someone who is emotionally unavailable right now because of their focused on their own healing and their journey forward and possibly moving away from anything that's caused, you know, disruptions in terms of their emotions. But um, you're not offering your love, your compassion, your deep emotions, your, your understanding to them. Um, in fact, you are taking that away or you are, um, you know, you've, you've kind of got, gone into your shell is what I'm seeing. Your soulmate has the four of pentacles now in their thoughts. This is what they're thinking about you and uh, their relationship with you. 
So I'm seeing, I'm hearing keeping it under wraps, uh, closing down. Um, I think that mentally they, they don't, they don't feel like it's time to open up to you. Um, they are thinking that you are also a bit closed off to them. I'm seeing here, um, wanting to kind of, you know, not, um, not quite wanting to, to open up definitely. And, um, they cherish their memories with you. I think they have really fond memories, but they are, it's kind of like they're, they're saving, they're saving those, or they're, they're trying to hold on to what they have. And it's not much. Um, they probably don't think that you're very, um, open to them and, or very wanting to share of yourself with them. So there's kind of a, a, a I'm getting miserliness or, or hoarding or just being very close, closed down, shut down um, around around them. And in terms of your emotions, or in terms of their emotions, sorry, they have the Page of Cups. So I, I immediately see that they do have love feelings for you. I would say it's more along the lines of puppy love. They have uh, they also probably want to send you a message or want to talk to you. I think probably this is a card about romantic feelings, but very lighthearted ones, not deep, deep, deep ones. Um, it's flirtatious. They feel flirty around you. They feel like flirting. They feel like opening up to you, but I don't think they think that you're the same, that you would open up to them. So they mind. they're thinking that they aren't going to open up, but they want to. In terms of their behavior, Five of Wands in reverse suggests that um, they don't want to fight anymore. You know, they are done with the petty hassles and struggles. They don't really want to compete for your attention anymore. They've definitely withdrawn from any kind of battle or, or competition. Um, if your relationship is a rubber band and you're holding the tension here, they're letting go of their side of the rubber band, so it's contracting. There isn't that much tension. Um, there's also a need for more, you know, playfulness, competition, game playing. I mean that in a friendly way. Like, for example, do sports together or do some kind of exercise together or possibly a need for, uh, you know, playful banter or, or even like sit down and play a game of chess together. Whatever that is to to them, they have decided to stop doing that. So they're they're done with the petty hassles and struggles. They do still have feelings for you, um, but the chemistry is not quite there yet. Uh, you're definitely, uh, your mental frame of mind is on healing and moving forward. And they are definitely, um, because I feel like they've been hurt in the past, they're contracting, their energy is contracting slowly and slowly and slowly contracting. So. Um, I feel like there's definitely going to be some stuff that's really interesting coming up for you in the forecast. I don't feel like this is over. I feel like you still have this soulmate connection, um, which is why this is a soulmate reading. I don't feel like maybe you're talking right now or or really you don't, your, your chemistry is a little bit off right now. You're not really relating to each other. There, You may be broken up. There may be distance between you two. but. I would like to see what happens in the forecast, so please join me over on Patreon for that. We're going to go over the next four months. All right, Pisces, we're going to take a look at your forecast. Um, this right here is, like I said, from now through November the 15th. So uh, while Venus is in retrograde, we're going to look at, we're currently in October, so we're going to look at what is going on for you in the month of November. Page of Swords in reverse. So. There may be some gossip, okay? There might be some bad news coming. Um, this can also indicate stalking, okay? Stalking, spying, um, third party information being heard, um, possibly some snarky comments or um, some not very nice words. Um, so definitely um, something to be aware of there. Uh, you may hear something, you may get some news, it may not please you very much. For the month of December, we've got death in reverse. Okay, so sign of Scorpio. Um, by this point, we will have left a Scorpio season and already be moving into Sagittarius and Capricorn season. 
what I'm seeing here is, you know, um, something is refusing to end here. Um, this is about burning bridges, running away. So running away from something or something here is needing to end and to transform. But um, something remains stuck here. Someone remains stuck. There's a need to let go here. Um, it could be that uh, either you or your soulmate are, are stalking each other or there, there's there's no, no talking, but um, in doing that, um, it's preventing the process of really letting go and allowing this re relationship to transform into something new and different. So for the month of January, we have the Three of Swords in reverse. Um, usually this is the time after heartbreak, um, so I feel like what needs to change here is there needs to be some pain that is addressed. Um, here, someone can be ignoring their true feelings. Um, this can also be that uh, either you or your soulmate is causing heartbreak in this relationship. Uh, this could be due to a third party. It doesn't have to be. I do feel here that the card is better in reverse because it speaks to the fact that the heartbreak has already happened and now it's just getting we're now releasing that pain. So releasing some pain um, that has been caused in the past, uh, possibly between November and January. Getting out of the memory of a painful love triangle, forgetting about the heartbreak, um, trying to heal the heart as well. For the month of February, we have the Ace of Cups in reverse. So this can be an offer of love that is turned down or even a rejection. I'm seeing here that um, the heart does not remain open anymore. There's a lot of blocked feelings here. Emotions are not flowing freely. This can be felt as numbness or uh, definitely uh, feeling like you're emotionally drained and there's nothing left to give here. Um, I do feel like the love is there. It's just, um, again, I'm seeing the cup being poured out. And it's being poured out on your side here. So I'm seeing it with the King of Cups in reverse. So um, this can be a reject rejecting an offer of love or, or turning down an offer of love, not allowing your heart to heal fully, possibly ignoring some pain here. But um, remember that um, this can be pain. Instead of letting go of the pain, it's being turned inward. So watch out for doing that. Pisces, this is what I'm seeing in your forecast. From what I can tell, um, I don't feel like things are getting better. Unfortunately, they do look like um, there's a resistance to going through some kind of a, a transformation here, to letting really letting go of the pain. Um, this is between both of you. These cards here are the energies between both of you, so you're both doing this to each other to some degree. Um, but I feel like there definitely needs to be healing. Your heart needs to heal. Um, once your heart heals, I feel fully your behavior will change. You'll be, able, you'll be open again to love. But this is a long process, and it, it's probably going to go on longer than the next four months. But uh, for this particular soulmate that I'm seeing, um, they could be fire uh, with water or earth with water or earth with fire sign. I do feel like um, you are soulmates, but you are having difficulty relating when it comes down to the intricacies of the day-to-day -day world. Um, there's a lot of distrust there, and uh, someone here definitely needs to take that leap of faith, but they're afraid for some reason um, that this could have to do with things hap that happened in the past. Um, also, the communication between you seems very cold, very distant, if there is any. Uh, and um, you Pisces are very, um, it looks like, very closed off to this person, um, whoever they are, your soulmate. You um, have turned your back to them and you are uh, expressing yourself in a way that is emotionally unavailable. So. Um, it seems that you both have a lot of healing to do when it comes to your heart. There's a lot of pain here that needs to be released before you can start over again. So I suggest, you know, if you want to work on that, you could work on work on opening up your heart again, work on healing yourself, work on letting go, how to let go. 
um, I don't feel like stalking or not talking or running away is going to make this process faster, um, nor will it make it easier. It'll just delay the inevitable. So better to face whatever you have to face now and do that with the knowledge of knowing that you'll come out of it as a more resilient, stronger, more emotionally available person. Pisces, I hope this reading has helped you. Thank you so much for joining me today. And as always, I send you off with love and light, many blessings. And if you'd like to book a private reading with me, please find my information below. Take care.